Hey everyone, welcome back to your channel Cisco Config. In this video, we are going to discuss the third layer of OSI model, that is network layer. Network layer is the third layer of OSI model and layer 3 goal is end-to-end -end delivery. To accomplish this goal, layer 3 is going to use its own addressing scheme known as IP addresses. IP addresses are combination of 32 bits that represented in 4 octets and each octet contain number from 0 through 255. In networking, every host is going to be identified by its IP address. As you see in below layout, router is device who connect to different networks and delivering data end to end. So router is considered to exist at layer 3 of OSI model. Now at this point, a common question typically asked by fresh engineers and that is, if we have IP address at layer 3, then why we need MAC addresses? Or instead, if we have MAC address at layer 2, then why we need IP address at layer 3? Answer of this question will clear our concept regarding how packet flow through the internet. Reason we have two different addressing scheme is each of those addressing scheme perform different function. Let me explain you. Suppose this host have some data that need to send to this host. As we know, the data is in form of 1s and 0. Lay 2 and Lay 3 of OSI model don't know what this data contains. For them, it's just 1s and 0 that need to get to this host over here. Since this computer know that the data need to send to this endpoints over here, it's going to add some layer 3 information to that data. That layer 3 information include the source IP address and the destination IP address to send this data from one end to the other. And we already know layer 3 goal is end to end delivery. Now this computer know that the first step will be send this data to this first router. So for that, this computer add layer 2 information to that data and that layer 2 information include the source MAC address of the computer network card and a destination MAC address of the first router network card. That layer 2 information help to send this data to the first router. Once it get there, we can remove the layer 2 information. Remember, the whole purpose of the layer 2 information is to send this data from here to here to the first hop and layer 2 goal is hop to hop delivery. Now on this point, this router know that this information need to move to the next router and it's going to do this by adding another layer to header and notice this time source and destination MAC address are these two MAC addresses that's what going to take this packet to the next router and here once again the router remove old layer to header because now they don't need that and this router add a new layer to header and this process will continue and send this information to this hop and finally, last router will add final layer to header which will take the packet from this router to the end host. Once it get to the final host, again the layer to header will be removed because the purpose of the header was just to bring the packet from here to here, hop to hop. Also the layer 3 header will be removed because the purpose of the layer 3 header to bring the data from here to here, end to end. Finally, this process get the data to the destination computer and the data will be processed by the receiving host. That's why we need both IP addresses and MAC addresses because they serve different function. Now we understand that IP addresses and MAC addresses has independent function but they work together by the help of protocol called ARP. ARP stand for Address Resolution Protocol. It's going to link layer 3 address like an IP address to a layer 2 address like MAC addresses. ARP is crucial to understand how data flow in a network. That's it for this video and in next video we will discuss the fourth layer of OSI model that is transport layer. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.